cliche g'day folks and welcome to my very first episode of my new survival series. This series will be called Mo Carrot. It's Mo Carrot. I'm really quite excited as you can see the land rendering around me. I'm quite excited to introduce this episode to everybody because this is the first opportunity I have had to play modded survival. This will be a modded survival series. Yay! Uh, I am currently working with two mods. One of them you will see as I just do a little spin around. Boop. Anything look different? Anything look unusual? Uh, how about if I just do my F3 and go... No, I'm on a beach. That doesn't help. Hang on. Woodland! Look at this! Look at this! I am going to be using the Plenty O Biomes mod. Um, for this survival series and another thing let me just go for a little bit of a wander you've probably guessed it already because it is a perfect fit with plenty of biomes and I better hurry up and do this because uh, the first couple of episodes I'm assuming are going to be fairly standard as far as oh, here we go as far as a survival series is concerned oh it's not no look at this so we've got chickens obviously what's that What's that? That's a goat. Hello, Mr. Goat. And a duck. It's a duck. I want a duck. Ah, oh, I want the duck. <laughs> so, yes, I'm all, also using uh, Mo Creatures. Hence the name Mo Carrot in my carrot survival. So, uh, as I mentioned, this first episode, the first couple, I dare say, will be a... Uh, standard standard issue survival first thing I clearly have to do is weapons and shelter shelter from the storm uh, I want you guys to take this biomes of plenty and no creatures journey with me uh, I've done a little bit of research so I do know there's a handful of animals that I'll be able to tame which is fantastic ultimate designs I'd love to create a zoo oh just one pumpkin me. You're kidding me. Um, yeah, I'd love to create a zoo with all of them, including the uh, the ocean creatures as well. There's everything from piranhas to sharks, manta rays and dolphins there. Um, but if, uh, if it comes to no zoo and just having a muck around with all these animals, maybe go for a ride on an elephant, then fantastic. Get one more, and then I think it's time for a crafting bench and to get into this sweet, sweet jazz. And here we go for our very last tool. Lovely, cha-ching, beautiful. So at least I'll be uh, I'll be prepared now. The um, biomes of plenty does say that it adds, I do believe, something along the lines of like 82 biomes, extra biomes to this list. So this is going to be a nice big adventure for us to go on together. Let's just get that sugar cane in because I can, frankly. I'm actually really quite excited because I haven't had too much of a journey around the, uh, the new possibilities of biomes here. And I haven't, oh look at that, got some wood. Again. Um, and I haven't really seen all of the creatures that are to be had outside of just uh, kind of getting onto a flatland and spawning them in. So seeing them in their natural environment. Uh, with help from this Plenty O Biomes uh, mod as well, I'm pretty damn excited. Uh, I have tried a few other mods uh, with this as well, folks. I was looking at, uh, what is it, like crayfish furniture, Mick Crayfish's furniture or something like that. And... Uh, I was also looking at the Too Many Items mod as well, but I, I looked at it, the mo oh, and Minecraft comes alive, uh, And but the more I looked at it, the more I saw that uh, it was actually lagging out my computer really badly, and I figured the entertainment um, was worth, like, the, the, the entertainment wasn't worth lagging it out, you guys wouldn't have, uh, wouldn't have kept up. I mean, as it is, I'm slightly struggling here, um, but I'm hoping that with Forge I might be able to actually grab an Optifine as well um, to help my FPS, but we'll see. So I'm going to build myself a little shelter uh, as the sun... Where is the sun? It's probably behind that tree. Typical. As the sun's going down. And... Um, 
I think it's time. We'll have to we'll have to kind of somewhat start exploring. But first things first, some shelter from the storm. Okay, folks. As you can see, I've got myself a little house here. Um, it's just come nightfall now. Look, I've even got a little path out there. Um. Anyway, that's I'm just kidding. Uh, so it has come nightfall now. Um, I've got I am protected from the storm out here. Um, there is a zombie that wanted to come and get me. Hang on, let me just get that. Up. Oh, look at that! It's a slime horse. Oh my god! I do wish I had Optifine so I could zoom. It's a slime horse. Can I look? There it is. Look at that! It's a slime horse. I thought they were zombie horses, but no, I uh, I was uh, happily corrected. Um, and they are. Um, the slaves. Uh, so while it is night, I am in need of more materials such as cobble and coal. Um, so I may as well start myself a little mine. I usually do this anyway. Um, so yeah, it's it's business as normal for this episode. Let's uh, see if I can perhaps find some ores, some coal, maybe an, even a little cave, and um, we'll see what the Mo creatures has to offer underground. Hello. This is going to be brilliant. Anything fancy schmancy? Not really, but it looks like that. It looks like there's a quick entry through some sand over that way. Yeah, fantastic. This will be great. All right, let me just put some dirt there so it'll be easier to get through. Boom. And on the hunt for some food. I do have those pumpkin seeds and there's a few of the wheat seeds as well. I may as well get those in. Um, going to go check this little island. This island might be worth flattening out to do a little food farm. Now, this is, of course, where the uh, slime horse was a second ago, so... Nothing. Hello, chicken. Couple of eggs. I'm going to collect these toadstools as well. I looked at those before. They're toadstools. Yes. Um, and these will be things I'll have a little bit of a research through. But guys, you let me know. What can I use a toadstool for? It doesn't seem like it would be anything edible, seeing as it isn't in real life. They're quite poisonous. Uh, perhaps it has uses in the potion making, if there's some different potions. Can I get the fish? Can I kill the fish this way? Ow! Ow. What was that? Piranha? That was very possibly a piranha. Ha ha! Piranha bit me in the bottom. Alright, I got that one too. All these new things. I've said all of this time that the squids should be hostile. I really, really believe that. Die, medium fish. I want you to die. Uh, so having something like piranhas here. Ah, I'm a bad shot when I'm trying to swim. Having something like the piranhas here is kind of a dream come true because it's something that I've been saying for a long time. Um, just to give the game a little bit of an edge. Because it's pretty much guaranteed that if you... Oh, lovely. If you are in trouble... Um, let me make some charcoal first. If you're in trouble and you've got nowhere to go, like to escape anything, then you get into the water because it's safe. But now with the hostile creatures in there, not so much. That was worth a try. Alright, I need some food. Okie dokie, folks. Another day has been and gone. Um, and I'll just take you outside to show you what I have done. I've been out there, so there hasn't been any hostile mobs spawning. But if you go out my little path, you can see I've just started. A little bit of dirt down there. I've got the pumpkin seeds, the four seeds I got from that one pumpkin, and a couple of wheat seeds. I didn't get any more. Uh, look at that, I got more. And as I cut some trees over this way, um, I did grab a couple of apples. So now that that charcoal has smelted, 
Um, I can chuck some chicken in the furnace, but while I'm waiting for the chicken, it's a shame I haven't got pork chops, because pork chops and apple sauce. Oh my god, that's amazing! And I also have a fish as well. Let's have a little munch on this. And the chicken. And last but not least, some piranha. <laughs> some cooked piranha. Fantastic. Alright, so my hunger is slightly satisfied. There's no nasty spawning anywhere. I will light up that island over there as well. Um, and I think the plan for next episode, ouch, episode two, is I'm going to have to take you guys on a bit of an adventure, a biome adventure, to see what I do have around this way. And I have no shovel. Damn it. Oh, a zombie. That sounded zombie-ish, didn't it? <gasps> it's a freaking werewolf, guys. It's a freaking werewolf. Um, so I have bred with werewolves. When they're in this form, you need a golden sword. Uh, gold is replacing uh, silver, as it would. Oh, he's nasty, isn't he? He's nasty. I'll tell you what, the, uh, they're bad, and so you just basically stay away from them. But the wild wolves, the ones that you think are just going to be kind of okay, they're pretty nasty too. Um, I really don't kind of want to go down there. Where is that zombie baby? Um, without any protection. Let me just put some sand there. And I can't go anywhere without a shovel. That was a bit silly. I'm going to try and light up the ravine down there. Maybe block off some of that water and lava flow. And hopefully by episode 3 we'll be able to start collecting some stuff. Going to need another pickaxe. Okay. So there's definitely going to need to be a lot more research gone into this. Um, and I'm going to look into adding a few more mods as well. Um, as long as they're compatible. And if you guys know, there's some of you guys, I've actually had a, uh, a nice little um, boost in my subscribers. Thanks to a couple of certain people, you know who you are. Um, so there's a few of you who don't know where I'm at at the moment, but I've gone through a little bit of poop. Uh, my last laptop, um, the roof kind of exploded in the kitchen. Um, and my laptop, it, the, the motherboard fried anyway, long story short. So I'm, I'm using a better laptop, it's a beefier laptop at the moment. I'm still exploring the possibilities of what I can do with this laptop. Let me just light this area up too. Uh, so as far as adding more mods, it's a uh, ooh, scary. It's a scary. That's what it is. No, it's um, it's just trial and error. It's just finding out what fits, uh, what works, what goes with what, what's compatible, and frankly, what I like. I don't know, seeing as he's underground, if he'll actually ever change back. If he can sense when it's daylight or not. I've got a, Is he trapped? No. Oh, he is trapped. <laughs> Sucker. Well, you stay trapped, Mr. Werewolf. Okie dokie. So, yeah, guys, pretty bog standard for the first episode there. Um, just setting myself up. I've got a great cave now. A good, like, a good ravine that I've got oh, across there, the island. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. 
I could do with your bones, please. As long as there isn't any other kind of werewolf, etc. Ow. Come here. Get you off the high ground. No, you come here. Ha ha. Sucker. Ah, oh, zombie. Zombie, why the zombie? Just why? Why, Mr. Zombie? So I hope you have enjoyed this mundane first episode of Mo Carrot, uh, my new survival series. Um, this will be replacing my Sunken Island series, uh, which got lost with my old laptop. Uh, I did try it with this laptop, but I couldn't remember exactly where I'd been anyway. It wouldn't have been legit. Um, so who wants to see Sunken Island when you can see a modded survival, hey? Um, remember guys, any comments down below, any mods that you want me to add to this, uh, to the series, I'll see if I can. Um, so comments, like, subscribe if you haven't, if you want to. Nobody's pulling your arm, no one's forcing you. And just remember folks, as always, say good day to your neighbour. <laughs>